this building was led to the glory of God by His Excellency, the Governor of Nigeria, Sir Graham Thompson, KCB, on May 19, 1926. These buildings were erected with funds subscribed by the officers, soldiers, and friends of the Salvation Army in Great Britain in commemoration of the 70th birthday of General Brownwell Booth, the second general of the Salvation Army in 1926, and dedicated to the glory of God for the salvation of souls. This notice board is as old as a hundred years. Salvation Army has grown from strength to strength in Nigeria. From 1920 to 2020 and beyond, the Salvation Army in Nigeria has been known to help victims of poverty and disaster, such as helping survivors of the Lagos explosions at Ikeja and other places, and sharing of food to people during the COVID-19 lockdown in 2020. The, bu the bubonic plague of the early 30s it affected the Salvation Army, especially that led to the death of one of our officers at Oobo in Lagos Island, led to the closure of the Salvation Army, and we lost the whole area to today in Lagos Island. And there are other significant events. The Salvation Army, when it came to Nigeria, it was meant for West Africa. And... Uh, but today, we have the Salvation Army in Nigeria territory. The West African territory there has now given birth to Ghana, Liberia, and Mali, and Sierra Leone. So we thank God for that. Our efforts have been made even now. We are making incursion into the Republic of Benin, and Burkina Faso, and Cameroon. Though those have not been officially named but we are making incursion. To God be the glory. Salvation Army has achieved a lot within the scope of time. Although Salvation Army is not the noise making type, so many may not have known much about the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army pioneered many primary schools. The biggest primary school in Sulu Lenity today was set up by the Salvation Army. The secondary school, the primary school is behind the, in the National Stadium. It's a very large primary school. We have another one in, Nage, in Nagege. We have in Dr. Mu. We have uh, 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 a host of other places. Like uh, it has been said, there are many people that were brought up through the Salvation Army primary school is, is very significant. But besides that, the Salvation Army used to have their training called training center called Garrison. But in the 1960s, it was changed to training college. And today, we have officers training college. We are highly evolving theology, theologians are being produced. They are not just learning the uh, others are regulation and doctrine of the Salvation Army. Salvation Army is equally getting involved in ecumenism, and that is, these are very, very significant. Our significance in social setting cannot be under over, 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 over side. In 1998, there was a Jesse uh, fire uh, kerosene disaster. Salvation Army was well represented at Jesse in Delta State, and of course. In 2002, when there was crisis in Georgia, the Salvation Army sent their representative to attend to the need of the displaced people. It occurred in various ways. I can mention many. 
But service dynamics impact in social setting cannot be overemphasized. Today, service dynamics is a member of the Christian Council of Nigeria and the fourth one of the founding members of the Christian Council of Nigeria and a member of the founding fa father of the Nigeria Evangelical Fellowship of Nigeria. For the past 100 years, many territorial commanders and territorial presidents for women ministries have served in Nigeria. They have done exceedingly well and their footprints are drilled in the rocks of time. The territorial commander presently is Colonel Victor Leslie and the Territorial President for Women Ministries is Colonel Rosemary Leslie. The Salvation Army in Nigeria is part of an international movement in which the Salvation Army is in 131 countries. We are an evangelical part of the Christian Church. That's part of our mission. We are also motivated by love of God and our mission is to preach the gospel and serve humanity without discrimination. Vision is to win the world for Jesus, win Nigeria for Jesus, and to move from 19 states to all 36 states in this country. That's our vision. Our core values, spirituality, we are a Christian church. So holiness, faith, prayer are critical parts of our experience and our values. We also believe in integrity of program, resources, transparency, accountability, and responsibility are key phrases that we use every day in our experience. Unity. Nigeria is made up of many tribes, and the Salvation Army is also benefiting from the variety of tribes that serve with us. And so we believe in unity, one nation, one God, one people, one church. Excellence is our standard. We believe that quality is what God demands, and so we will continually serve up excellence as part of our daily experience. Evangelism. We talked about it earlier, about winning Nigeria for Jesus. And finally, I would say compassion and dignity, serving humanity without discrimination, serving people with hope for the future, and healing and health for all that come within our sphere of service. Those are our core values.